Hey, my friends, meteorologist Daphne DeLorne here. Normally, when I do my weather garden segment, I'm outside in my backyard in my actual weather garden. We go through the herbs, we go through the plants, uh, the vegetables, but this time I came in studio because I want to share something important that's going to be here before you know it. You'll blink and we will have our first frost here in Middle Tennessee. And this is a hot topic for all my gardeners out there. We're all thinking, when is the first frost going to be in Middle Tennessee? And the reason why this is important is because a lot of our tender plants will die if we don't have a plan B or if we don't cover them up uh, when we have our first frost. So I wanted to give you uh, some statistics on typically when we get our first frost in Middle Tennessee. And I want our gears turning on what our plan B is going to be, if we're going to bring in the plants or just let the season uh, take over with the cooler temperatures. Okay, so this is from the National Gardening Association. Now there's about a 50% chance of 32 degrees. That's around October 28th. So that's late October. Now, 70% chance, so a better chance of 32 degrees around November 4th. So more so early November, but this could always be mid to even late November. In fact, our latest first freeze was November 27th, and that was back in 2009. Now, one thing to think about is how have we been so far in the season? Well, if you've been in Middle Tennessee, you know we have been above average in the temperature department. So that could play a good factor in if our first freeze is going to be a little bit later, maybe let's say uh, later into November. So this is something we'll keep you posted on. Now, the tender plants, they'll typically die. Uh, with your first frost, first freeze of the season. So we're talking about things like fragile herbs, uh, mint, basil, uh, tomatoes. So that's considered tender. Now your hardier plants, so or vegetables, we could say uh, peppers. We could also say uh, carrots. They can typically survive your first frost of the season. In fact, they can actually taste a little bit sweeter, but you also have a window with those. So I want you to already start thinking about what you're going to do with your vegetables as we get closer and closer to this time. Now, of course, your meteorologist here at News 2, we will keep you posted as much of a heads up as possible for our first frost of the season. All right, my friends, I hope this was helpful for you. I'm meteorologist Daphne DeLauren wishing you a wonderful day.